Hey folks, Mark here. Today I wanted to talk to you about collimating and focusing your Schmidt Cassegrain telescope. One of the tools you can use is what they call a tri batonoff mask, which is what this particular item is here. The tri batonoff mask has some unique features to it that are different than a regular batonoff mask, and I'm going to go over those briefly and give you a little bit of a clue as to what this particular thing on the side of it is. This is a mask that I'm going to cut out and create to cover two-thirds of the Batonoff mask so that it will make it easier for me to adjust the diffraction spikes on my telescope. So let's go ahead and take a quick peek at what a Batonoff mask does and see whether or not we can make it work with our Schmidt Cassegrain. This is the front of your Schmidt Cassegrain telescope and I want you to look at the centerpiece there with the three silver dots. Those are your three adjustment screws for your secondary mirror which is the controlling factor for your collimation. What we are going to do is we're going to take our tri batonoff mask here and if you look you can see our diamonds which are our three points and we're going to align them with the three silver dots which are the adjustment screws. So that dot on the top will correspond to that adjustment screw. This will correspond to this and this will correspond to that. The second part of the equation is that cardboard mask we talked about. That's right here. And what we'll do is for the top adjustment we will place the mask on it and this particular area will be the adjustment made for that particular screw. We will move the mask around till it's lined up with this second set of vertical bars and that will be the adjustment for that particular quadrant or trimester area. Now let me get this guy lined back up again. And then the third and final adjustment will be here once we align it up with our particular third section here and that will make the adjustment here. As you can tell when we go back to the computer the diffraction spikes that come out here if they are too close to each other or too far apart, we'll adjust each of the screws accordingly. We'll adjust this one to either loosen it or tighten it regarding the beam. And then we'll switch the mask around and loosen or tighten the other two screws accordingly. If we loosen this one, we're going to tighten these two. If we tighten this one, we'll loosen these two, and so on and so forth until we have an even point of diffraction throughout the entire screen. All right, folks, so this is what we've got. We've got our tri batonoff mask, we've got a cardboard shield, and then what we have is we'll have our view from our telescope. We're going to take and we're going to cut out our cardboard cutout here and we're going to see what it looks like once it's cut out. We're going to take the cardboard cutout and place it over the Batonoff mask in conjunction with the different dots to indicate the different triangular areas of the Batonoff mask. As you can see here, a purple dot for one section, 
a yellow dot for another section and a red dot for the third section. What we'll do is we'll rotate the mask around the batten off in order to change and adjust the collimation screws which are on the secondary portion of the front of your scope. When we are done making the adjustments for each of the different sections shown here in purple, red, and yellow, we'll have equidistant spikes between our star. There's our bright star that we're shooting and then we have the spikes going out and we will adjust each of the different sections of the triangular area here on the batten off to adjust those spikes so that they're equidistant. That's pretty much the way this device works with the little cardboard overlay and hopefully it works for you. If so, let me know in the comments. If you have questions, you can contact me via the comments also and I'll try and answer them as quick as possible. That's all for now, folks.